Hello everyone, if you are managing a complex project with multiple tasks and team members or you have a list of sales figures for different product categories and you need to monitor them carefully then creating multiple worksheets from a list of sales values is the best option for you. It can be also used for inventory management, data analysis and marketing campaigns. So this is Jihadri Anjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn 5 methods on how to create multiple worksheets from a list of cell values. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the name of the employee, their profession and their house name in column B, C and D. Our target is to create multiple worksheet from list of name columns from B5 to B9. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to create multiple worksheet from list of name in the column B by using Exit Pivot Table feature. To do that, we'll select the value of B4 to D9, go for Insert tab and in the tables option, you will find pivot table. In the pivot table, go for from table or range to open pivot table from table or range dialog box. And here you need to see whether the table or range selection of a table is correct or not. Then as output value, you need to choose whether you want to show it in new worksheet or existing worksheet. As I want to get the result in the existing worksheet, so I'll select it and the location of the output will be in the F4 cell. So I'll select the location here and press OK. Now at the right side, you will see the pivot table fields has opened as we are trying to show the names for creating multiple worksheets. So I'll tick on the names, you will see the pivot table will automatically shift it to rows but as we are trying to create multiple worksheet so we need to select the rows of the name and drag it down to the filters option here you have got the name range in the window of the f2 cell after that you need to go for the pivot table analyze tab go for the pivot table and here you will find the options where you will see show report filter pages click on it and then the show report filter page dialog box will get open. See whether you have selected correctly or not. Click OK and then you will see here you have got the names here in this section of the worksheet. So that's how we can easily use the pivot table for creating multiple worksheet. In our second method, we'll be using VBA trim function to create multiple worksheet from a list of cell values. Here at first you need to enable the developer tab. To do that, you will go for the file tab, go for the options and here you will find Excel options dialog box, go for the customized ribbon and then in the customized ribbon main tabs, tick on the developer, press OK to enable the developer tab. Now select the list of cell values from B5 to B9 by using which you want to create multiple worksheets. Then go for the developer tab, click on the visual basic to open the visual basic operator. As we are dealing with the VBA trim worksheet, so we need to go for the sheet 5 VBA trim which we are working on. Then in the right side, we need to insert our code. We have copied our code from the source code and now we'll insert it by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. You can easily copy the code from the article link below. You need to remember that you cannot insert this code in another sheet because it won't work as the code is specifically only determined for the VBA trim function. That's why we have named the code by the sub trim function. Next, we have the variable present sheet which will be marked as worksheet and then we have the cell range as our second variable which will be showing the range. And as our last variable, we have the x as our second range. Next, we have set our first variable set present sheet as the active sheet which we are working on currently. That means the VBA trim. And next, the cell range variable will be using to go for the selection cells which will be in this case B5 to B9 and next we have the application dot screen updating that means it will update the multiple worksheets we are trying and to do that we have used the for loop which will be the main variable of the X. In the for loop we have used the S name which basically will show for the trim function 
and there is a condition of length of the variable of the s name which are dealing with the trim function and now we'll go for the worksheets add after the worksheets that means the worksheet will be add after the main worksheet of the VBA trim and now in the active sheet will be go for the name as we're dealing with the name column and then it will end if everything selection is done and it will move on to the next variable of the cell next we will go for the present working sheet that means it will end working on the current sheet value and the screen updating will be true and it will end the code so let's go and see whether the code is correctly working or not we'll go for the run option and run the code and now you will see it has currently showing the multiple worksheets by using the cells of v5 to b9 so that's vba trim function for you in our third method we'll be utilizing vba debug print for creating multiple worksheet from a list of cell values to do that we'll right click on the worksheet name of the vba debug go for the view code to open visual basic operator for the sheet 3 VBA debug. Now we have already our code written in the notepad. So we'll copy it by using Ctrl plus C and we'll paste it specifically in the sheet 3 because the code is only written for this sheet 3. If you have inserted it anywhere else than sheet 3 then it will not work in this case. You can copy the code from the article link below. The first line of the code is the debug function which will show the name of the code. Then we have three variables here which is the first variable YRG that means the Excel range, WST which will be showing the worksheet and WBO as the second workbook section. We have set the WST variable as the active sheet which will be showing with the VBA debug sheet we are working on. Next we have our second WBO variable which will be currently working on the whole workbook and then it will be going from the screen updating that means it will go for our next section of the updating of multiple worksheets. We have the for loop of each YRG variable which will be dealing with the range of B5 to B9 that means B5 to B9 in our main worksheet then with variable second of the worksheet it will be going for the variable after the sheet and it will count the values also and here it will be going for the error resume next that means if it finds any kind of match then it will go for the next otherwise it will be showing error and next portion it has the active sheet name of the y range variable as we are dealing with the name of the column and then we are trying to get the if condition of the error number 1004 if it finds any kind of error otherwise it will be going for the debug print version of the y range that means the sheet name already exists that means it finds any kind of match values then it won't show any kind of new worksheet but otherwise it will be going for the end f and where it will go to the end of the zero that means the first variable and it will move on to the y range of the next cell so that's how it will update one by one and it will be showing the end result by going for the end sub let's see whether the code works or not so we'll go for the run click on the run and here you will see that you have created multiple worksheet by using the VBA debug print. We want to use VBA application dot proper method to create multiple sheets in a list of B values. Now we'll go for the name of the worksheet application dot proper method. Right click on it and here you will find view code to open the application dot proper sheet 6. Here you need to insert the code from the source code which we have already copied. Now we'll paste it by using Ctrl plus V. You need to remember that you can only insert the code here in the specific sheet 6 application dot proper. If you insert it in any other sheet then it won't work. You can copy the code from the article link below. Now let's talk about the code a bit. We have named the code sub rows to new sheet and then we have three variables a w s and last row now it will go for our first error resume which will go for the next to find the error then it will go for our variable last row which will be going for the selection of the multiple row of the range and then we have set a for loop which will be going for the a variable which is in this case starting from the b5 and it will be going for the b column but it will go for the last row of any insertion of the column b if it finds any kind of value in the column b it will be in the range if 
there is a condition of a value then it will find nothing then it will go for the set of ws variable and it will be going for the worksheet a variable and if it is find nothing then it will go for the add after new values of the count otherwise it will go for the active sheet name which you have gone for the column b and it will be showing as in the input section of the a variable now it will end the if conditions of the two sheets and next it will go for our next cell value and it will end the code by using the end sub now when to go for the run option click on the run and here you will see that it has find row to new sheets click on it go for the run option and now you will see you have added the new worksheet by using the application.proper method so that's how we can easily create multiple worksheet by using application.proper vb code in our last method we want to use input box to create multiple worksheets to do that we'll go for the name of the worksheet right click on it go for the VBA code to open the visual basic operator dialog box and here we'll go for the right side of the portion where we'll insert our code you need to remember that we are inserting the code only in the sheet for VB input box otherwise the code won't work here we have pasted the code by using ctrl plus V in the keyboard from the source code you can easily copy the code from the article link below let's talk about the code a bit here we have named the code by using sub create new sheet and next we have our first variable range as the range variable and next we have cell as our second range variable and now to handle the error we have gone go to error handling and now to set the range we have used the application input box which will insert a new input box for the selection which will be titled as create new multiple worksheets and it will be has default selection range and which will be in the character 8 section now we'll go for our for loop which will go for our second variable each cell range and it has inserted a if condition if it finds nothing then it will go for the new portion otherwise it will go for the cell selected range add name in the multiple worksheets and it will end as the first name value and if it finds and work correctly then it will move on to our next cell range which will be in the selection range next it will handle all kinds of error and put the end of the code by using the end sub let's see whether the code works or not go for the run and click on the run and now it has the create multiple worksheet as we have set it here now select the range which will be the b5 to b9 click ok and here you will see you have created multiple worksheet by using this code so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this